Yo, what's up guys? Today, the newest product, the Iono Premium Tournament Collection just dropped. The Iono Premium Tournament Collection comes with one full art foil supporter card, three additional foil supporter cards, 65 card sleeves, one sturdy deck box, one large metallic coin, two condition markers, six tournament ready damage dice, six TCG booster packs, and one code for Pokemon TCG Live. I've got a whole case of these. Let's do it. All right, guys, like we said, we've got four of these, a whole case listed off what is in here in the, uh, the intro there. Six booster packs. I know there is actually some newer uh, booster packs in here, which is very enlightening because I was worried that we were going to be opening up, um, you know, just a bunch of Obsidian Flames, which I'm kind of just done with <laughs> at this point. I'm not going to lie. So in here, we do get this is the new full art uh, Iono. This is a well, it's a promo full art. So it's a little bit different than the current full art Iono. Um, so I had to get four of these. You know, I am gonna play four of them anyway, so I figured I might as well kill two birds with one stone and get to open up a bunch of packs. And I will have my playset of that. So actually, let me open this up really quick because it's not just the full art that you get in here. You also get, um, I think four? Oh, it's three. Uh, they're stamped, actually, which is very interesting. I don't think I'd ever seen that it's got that little unique stamp on it. So it's it obviously still legal for tournament play. These are totally fine to use. But it does have that galaxy foil. So you get those three plus one fuller Iono for each box. So that's super cool. And here we go with the uh, damage counters. So that is also really cool. The awesome sleeves. These sleeves are absolutely beautiful. Um... They might be a little different, actually. Hold up, hold up. These might be a little different. So it looks like they went back to a fully transparent front of the sleeve, which actually might be kind of a game changer. Okay. So I don't know if these are still, they're probably still not super good for like shuffling and playing, but the front of the sleeve is now transparent, so you can at least use these as binder sleeves, which is super, super cool. Um, I'm glad somebody at Pokemon was listening, because when there were just the, the hazy front, they just weren't really good for much of anything. But now, these actually might not be so bad, so there we go. Improved sleeves is always a good thing. Now we have the deck box, which is super cool. Very colorful. It reminds me of the Iono Belly Bolt figure that will be coming out soon um so that's really cool you got your deck box in here they stuff these six packs in there as well as um special condition markers so that's very cool you can see in there there's like the divider has which is kind of cool because like a 60 card sleeve deck usually fits pretty snugly right here but it does fit and then you can stick your dice or uh spare sleeves in there um so these deck boxes are really nice and the divider's got like different art on it which is really cool so nice nice hard plastic deck box um, with the velcro in there these are very nice definitely recommend using those um, very cool and the sleeves now being nice actually makes me super excited so let's see what we have here we have two temporal forces which is actually super cool I didn't expect there to be that like the newest set in there a paradox rift Obsidian Flames, Scarlet and Violet base set, and Lost Origin for, for, for some reason. So, you know how I do these? I usually start with the oldest uh, set in a pack like this. So here we go. We're going to give out all the codes for this. We have one pack that we have to do the Sword and Shield card trick with. So that'll be very interesting. We got Makahita. Whoops. <laughs> Bronzor, Phalanx, Poliwag, Oddish, Raichu, and Buffalant, which is actually, I think, one of the, it's the control, kind of, Buffalant, so 
that's pretty cool. We have Scarlet and Violet base set here. So now we go into our one card trick. We got Shuppet, Tanda Mouse, Smolive, Primeape, Mabostiff, Oinkalone, Spiritomb, just sitting in a winter scene. Love to see it. Krogunk. Yo! We got Pachirisu. I don't think I've ever... I don't... Pretty sure I haven't pulled this one. So that is super sick. Love to see it. Plus a Spide Ops EX. All right. Getting that one off to the races with two hits. Now, these are something I had seen a lot of people say they didn't get a lot of hits out of. Again, that's not the case for these. It's not like they're just inherently... They have bad hits. Um, it's all random. So it might just... It's just a luck thing, I guess. Luck of the draw. <laughs> so... I think these premium tournament collections are super cool. Um, they're both really good for playing and collecting. I mean, you're opening six packs, which is super cool. Arvin's great card. Um, and then you get the full arts of the supporters. Oh, let's go. I don't know if I've ever pulled this one either, but that is so sick. That is such a good Palafin art. And Scovillain for the rare. Um, so... You get to open packs, and then you get at least one of the full art supporters in there, which is usually a very playable uh, supporter. It's kind of what the these tournament collections are like built around, is a playable supporter. They've done the boss's orders, uh, Clara, stuff like that, and Marnie. Um, so you get playable cards, and then three other copies, so a whole playset, technically, of that playable card. And then you get, you know, your... Uh, coin, dice, deck box, all that stuff. So they're very cool products. Um, I'm a huge fan. Iron Valiant, let's go. So this box looking pretty good. We have two packs of Temporal Forces to open up here as well. So this one might be one of the better uh, premium tournament collection boxes that I think I've seen. Um, the other ones, they were fine, but I think just as far as sets go. This one is probably my favorite one so far. Um, just because a lot of these sets are, like, Temporal Forces has been super fun. The hit rates are a little bit a little bit uh, harder, I guess, but it's been a super awesome set nonetheless. So, let me know. These just came out today, the day I'm recording this, which is Friday the 6th. Let me know if you ended up picking up any of these, or if you plan to. I, if you want my opinion on them, I think they are 100% worth it, at least to go get one of them. I think they're very cool. Um, just the full art trainer alone is usually quite worth it, honestly, so get to open up some cards as well and have a good time with it, so that's pretty awesome. We got Skitty. Iron Boulder EX. So we got five hits out of six packs. That's pretty darn good, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to open up the next one and we'll uh, jump right into the packs. All right, so we got the other packs. The other thing I forgot to show earlier, if I can get the light to not shine on it, we get the Jumbo Iono coin. So that's pretty cool. But I'm very excited. Uh, the sleeves not being completely bad makes me very happy. Um, it always feels really bad to have those sleeves and then just not, oops, I didn't do the card trick right. To... that should be right um, to have those sleeves and then never really use them I take mine to like pre-releases and I give them away and all that stuff so they do get used but to have them not be even good for like binder sleeves in, just in my opinion I guess is definitely a bummer so to have these ones have that clear front face of the sleeve is just so refreshing <laughs> i guess for uh, a lack of better terms so it's cool i might actually just give them a try and sleeve up like um i usually have a set of cards that i just kind of shuffle throughout the day on my desk i might put those through the test and see how they you know withstand normal wear and tear of shuffling and all that stuff so maybe stay tuned for a little bit of a 
a review on that, but being able to see through the front of the sleeve now is like, it's enough for me to be super excited about it. So <laughs> I'm glad that they did, uh, they did improve the sleeves. So that's, that's very cool. We got Houndoom, I love that art. Bramble, Bunnelby, Clefairy, ah, Yukimori clay art, Clefairy, that's so good. And Palafin with the Jet Punch. So we got Paradox Rift up here, and then two Temporal Forces. Yeah, again, I, th I think these Premium Tournament Collection, the, the Iona one anyway, is very good value. The pack selection's great. Um, Obviously, Iono is like an insanely playable card. If you're into playing the TCG, it's like incredibly playable. Um, and just a beautiful full art if if you're looking to collect full art um, trainers and stuff. So definitely a huge win. We got Mousehold EX. Let's go. Super cute Pokemon. Um, yeah, and then you get the deck box, which they've improved on that too. Very cool. Um, just all the stuff. I think it's just a really, really good value for what you're getting. Uh, it's just a cool product. I think I like these Pokemon products that they come out with that kind of try to merge worlds between players and collectors, which is always super cool. Um, because there are people, like myself, that do like to partake in both. So it's always nice to see products like this. Um, and I always plan to usually get like four of that product that comes out so yeah very cool if you care to have my opinion on these i think they're definitely worth it so definitely uh check them out if it's something that's in your uh wheelhouse to want to buy here we got slugma solosis perilous jungle unpheasant unpheasant sent to scorch reboot pod we got an a spec it's not Super good, but we'll take it. An A-Spec is an A-Spec, and we got Drampa. So, that one, we are through. Two hits, uh, a nice handful of playable cards, so that's always good. Um, I'll just do the same thing with the next one and just bust it open, and we'll get right into it. All right, jumping into this Lost Origin pack. We've got two more of these boxes left. Um, I've been waiting to get these to open these up. I knew I was going to open up a decent amount of packs of these. And then my desk right here is just full of stacks of cards that I need to take care of. So that is tomorrow's goal. I, I'm not going to locals tomorrow because the following weekend at Zeke's Comics and Games, we have a double header with a Pokemon League Cup and a League Challenge that I will be judging. So I figured I would, you know, stay home for the weekend for this one. But that's going to be one of the tasks, is to clean off this horrendous desk that I'm glad you guys can't see, because <laughs> it's it's pretty bad. Anyway, we've got Quaxley. My son is really starting to like Quaxley, which is pretty cool. Quaxley's okay, you know. It's not it's not uh, my preferred starter out of the Paldean region. Obviously, that's Brigatito, but it's okay. It's all right. We got Drowsy and Meowscarada, speaking of... There's Miascarada. Obsidian Flames. And then we get into uh, my favorite half of the box. Paradox Rift into Temporal Forces. I think that's a really, really good set rotation we've got there. Speaking of rotation, today, as I'm recording this, is the first day that Temporal Forces and the standard rotation in the Pokemon TCG have happened. So the European International Championships are happening right now over in London. I know a couple people that are over there playing. Good luck to them. I hope things are going really well. Um, so that's pretty cool. We have a huge rotated format coming in to the TCG, which is massive. Um, very important to keep the game at a healthy state. But anyway, back to the cards. We've got Durant, Slitherwing. Uh, Ferrothorn, Gimme Ghoul with a continuous coin toss, that's the good one, Apom, and Espathra. So, the, these last two boxes have been a little more rough, but that's okay, you know? Like I said, it's completely random. Sometimes, sometimes they're just gonna be like that, you know? What do you do? 
We got Drillbur, Relor, such a silly Pokemon, Ponyta, Chatot, Iron Valiant, Sharpedo, such a cool art, Metagross, Mudbury, Cotney, and another Fluttermane. So one more pack with Raging Bolt right on there. The uh, special illustration rares from this set have been notoriously more difficult to come by. Um, which is not a bad thing, honestly. They're holding their values, so collectors are happy. Um, you know, it, it just kind of is what it is. I think some of those more rare cards should be a little more difficult to get a hold of, but, you know, I, I don't really have a strong opinion on it, so... <laughs> right when I'm talking about it, right when I'm talking about how some of them are hard to get and hold their value, I pull what I believe is the most expensive special illustration rare out of the whole set. We got Iron Crown EX. This card is also insanely playable. It's in one of the decks that I'm playing right now. Um, that's awesome. That is so cool. What a beautiful, beautiful card. Um, obviously, I'll look it up when I put the price. I don't keep up with the prices of the cards. Um, but I believe this one is up there. So that's that's really cool. Um, maybe I should talk more about how the pull rates have been really bad and that, you know, I don't mind either way because then I guess I just pull the, the hottest card in the set. All right, here we go. The last Iono box that I have. I, don't, I guess I could just use, you know, some sort of clickbaity thumbnail and title saying that I pulled the hottest card out of Temporal Forces, but I'm not going to do that. We're just opening up cards, and, uh, you know, the right people will be here. If you're here right now watching the video, you are the right people. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it a ton. We are also celebrating 3,000 subscribers, which is so cool. Um, actually, huge shout out to one of my really good friends, Max. Thank you so much. You are a real homie, sent over a little care package with um, some Paldean Fates, a Paldean Fates booster bundle that I actually just, I just got done streaming on Twitch like 10 minutes ago, and <laughs> I opened those up over there. That was a great time. Didn't get any super crazy hits, but it was fun to open them up. Um, and he sent over some balloons with uh, that spell out 3K. Gardevoir EX, let's go uh, for 3,000. He was super hyped that I hit 3,000 subscribers, and I appreciate that a ton. It was super thoughtful and sent over some of the, the awesome Pokemon fruit snacks. I don't know if you've ever had any, but if you haven't, I definitely recommend grabbing them because they're really good. I also just really like fruit snacks, so either way, they're really good. So special shout out to him. Thank you so much for such a thoughtful care package. It, it honestly means the world to me. Um, so yeah, speaking of everybody being here right now, checking out the content, I appreciate it. We've got we've got a long road ahead of us, and we're gonna keep going. So I uh, I was planning to have the balloons up for this video, but like I said, I just got done streaming. It's one in the morning, uh, and I wanted to just get this recording part done to get this one out. So I will have, and I also just got the package like yesterday. So I will have the balloons up in the next video, hands down, I promise. <laughs> like I said, I also need to clean up down here like really bad. So that's also part of the reason. Ooh, Techno Radar, it's a good card. Part of the reason why I didn't have the balloons up and ready to go. So next video, they will be jumping into the last two packs of Temporal Forces for this last uh, Iono box for this opening, guys. I was really, really excited to get my hands on these. Um, I don't know that a ton of people open these boxes, but you'll definitely find, I think every single premium tournament box I will probably be opening up over here because it's generally, like I said, a very playable card. So, very cool. Coridon possibly be good in the ancient box deck we've got the last temporal forces pack 
I don't think it can get much better than that Iron Crown EX. So, you know, whatever we get here is whatever we get here. <laughs> and we've had a good time doing it. We've got Relor, Ponyta, Chatot, Cottony, Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking. That's another really good card. Vikavolt, Great Tusk with the Mill attack. Coridon in a reverse foil. Cottony and Relicanth to wrap up that opening, guys. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's Pokemon card opening. Thanks for checking out the video. If you like it, be sure to head on there. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment letting me know what you think of these Iono Premium Tournament collections. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The support means a ton. But until the next one, guys, keep being awesome as always. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.